Barack Obama, when Barack Obama went into the White House, he was a pretty ordinary black man, extraordinary in that he was able to go through their schools of education and learning and rise to compete for the highest office in white supremacy. But understand this, once Mr. Obama entered the White House, he was no longer a black man uh, manifesting his natural qualities. He became the CEO of white supremacy in that White House. And he had to carry out the bidding of white supremacy, whether he liked it or not. He ran on the premise of change, change we can all believe in. Nothing changed. It was just more of the same. And everything that Trump is currently doing on the border of Mexico, Obama was doing the damn same thing. Obama was a bigger bomber in the White House even than, Trump, even than Bush, Bush, Bush Jr. Obama killed more innocent people with drone strikes than Bush Jr. This is reality, documented history. Because when he went into that office, he has to change and adapt. Even, even Trump, Trump was under the impression that he could go in there and do something different. Trump is a nationalist. He's a little Americana. He believes in closing the borders and being a nationalist and make America great again. And by the way, make America great again is only code for make America white again. But America was never white. This is something else you need to learn. It was never white. It was stolen from the indigenous people. And it was Africans, enslaved Africans, who built America. We built the White House. We drew out and mapped Washington. We did all of it. And those of you, because some of you still think, oh, black people, those little inferior people that you need to go to Africa and help, you need to, you need to think again. You don't understand who they came and found in Africa and who they destroyed as a human reality systematically over hundreds of years using a system of tyranny and white supremacy. I, I, I'm, I'm going to go into some of that in a minute. But just for those of you who want like to, you like to believe this notion that we're so inferior. If we're so inferior, why is it that during slavery, you had to have the black man or the black woman cooking your food? Why would you take a savage out of a jungle and bring them into your kitchen to cook your food? The reason why we cooked all of your food during so-called slavery was because we were the cooks. We knew about seasoning. We knew about spices. We knew about how to cook. White people, you didn't have a clue. Why did we, why did we suckle your babies on our breast? This is where you get the term mammy, mammary gland. Why did we, the black woman, suckle the white children on her breast? Why would you put your baby on the breast of a black woman who you believe to be a savage? No, you wouldn't do that. You put the baby on that black breast because you knew that the milk was full of power and energy for your little white child to grow up and to become another white racist. This is the reality of what we as a people have been through and we want to we want to dispel your mythical ideas about your supremacy and our inferiority. 